I have just found the world's biggest triggering by nobody else than a member of the WoW Community Council. 597 posts, uh, very busy man as you can see. This guy has just dropped the biggest and maddest rant I've ever seen. That's a long essay. Kev, I don't wanna scare you. Look at this. Oh! Uh, he's going, he's still going. Oh, he ran out of space on the first post. <laughs> I am extremely disappointed and angry. The following. Okay, so this is like the top 10 anime betrayals. This is the part that turned him on to the dark side. There is no technology solution to this. There is no hardware solution to this. That's what the main producer of the game said about the server queue problem. And now is where we get to the, the triggering, you know. That is blatantly false. The technology and the hardware both exist in 2022, source, trust me bro. It is not impossible to have a scalable service within a AAA game. I mean, yes, yes, it is possible, like we just talked about, it is possible, of course. Is it possible for them to code and implement and build a server for it tomorrow? And solve the queue tomorrow? I don't think so, player. That takes years to develop, like let's be reasonable for a minute, even though I, I'm not a very reasonable person. How do I know? Because I work in this very industry as a software engineer in online services. There you go. Source, I'm, I am a lawyer. I will not let my profession... <laughs> oh! I wish... <laughs> oh my god, stop. <laughs> yeah, I need to chill. I need to chill. I, I, I don't know if I can read it. Uh... <laughs> stop the camera now. I will not let my profession be disgraced <laughs> with these lies. I know what the real problem here is. Blizzard considers Classic a side project, a cash cow, and does not provide the necessary amount of resources that it requires, of course. It was obvious to everybody that the issue would just repeat itself over for Rado Elish King, and not because it's an impossible issue to solve, but because of Blizzard's constant refusal to spend the money to provide a reasonable service to their customers. From automation of silences, to suspensions, to bans, to the complete lack of communication with the community. I mean, that's not a money issue, that's a PR issue. Like, you can make an argument that Blizzard is running their PR teams poorly and inefficiently, but that's not a money issue though, that's like... In a company the size of Blizzard, you gotta go through like seven pipelines to say the most simple statement publicly, like... They have a PR department that decides everything and they gotta approve on everything. It's a, it's, a, it's a long deal, okay? And I am not blaming you, I assume he refers to the producer of the game or the developers working on Classic specifically. I am blaming the company Blizzard, well isn't he a part of the company? For the complete lack of support of this massive game that is Classic. I am beyond tired of pretending like Blizzard might care even slightly that we might get something, anything that could be more than the complete bare minimum for a service that we pay $15 a month, that's true, to spend 25 USD per character to fix the issue of our characters being stuck on completely dead realms rather than offer a sensible solution a year ago. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, uh, okay, he's talking about money and all that, uh, what's, what's his income for being a Jani in the, in the, in the forums? That's right, my boy, that's right, my boy Chris, my boy Chris, you're hitting the nail on the head today, he's making the total amount of zero dollars. The sad part is he thinks that Blizzard cares, true. <laughs> when you offered bulk character transfer to retail by s but said tough luck to classic and told us it was single transfer only, how incredibly insulting. How in the world can I, comma, or anyone, comma, not think that Blizzard is purposely treating classic as nothing more than a joke? They treat retail like a joke too, so I mean... Blizzard has not spend the money necessary to make this issue never happen on the release on the most anticipated re-release on the decade. Why are we playing Classic Reforged? As in, he's even clarifying it with parentheses, what a, what a Reddit boy. As in Warcraft 3 Reforged, for those who missed the reference here. Uh, as you can tell here, he, he has a very low opinion of the average man that isn't him. He assumes that everybody here is too stupid to see that one. I know, you cannot fix your code in such a short amount of time for the Rato de Lichkin release. It is too late now. That much is obvious. I know how long it takes to make changes. Even if Blizzard magically had an epiphany and decided to provide infinite amount of... an infinite. Like, for somebody that writes this much, he, he has some really weird grammar choices. Amount of resources to classic development, you wouldn't have the time now, 
but for the love of all that is holy. We are tired of being treated like nothing more than walking wallets. Second class citizens. I have a dream. By your company, when we all we ask is for the service that we pay you to receive the amount of support it deserves. The amount of support that it needs. Sincerely, a disillusioned customer who still remembers the quality of servers, quality of service of 14 years ago. You're kidding, homie, the servers were melting back then too. And you would think, oh my god, this guy, what a paragraph, he even, he even said goodbye, he even, he even said goodbye right here, okay? No, that was not enough. He needed to go harder, he needed to get those capitalist pigs. They act as if they were in a relationship with Blizzard, pretty much like, oh my god, that, this is like one crazy ex-girlfriend texting you, man. I am not a dating guru or something like that, you see a girl send you this, a message like this long, run away. Okay, but he made a follow-up to the already huge post. I feel the need to clarify something, since the reaction from the community about my post seems to misunderstand my position. A lot of people questioning me, questioning my legitimacy as a software engineer. How many hours of training and, and work does it take to become a, a successful software engineer? Like, do you have the time to do 597 posts after being promoted to a community manager at best a year ago when they uh, made that community council thing? I do not want Agrend or anything on the or anybody on the classic development team to misunderstand my position either. In no way I am saying that I that it would have been cost efficient or not for them to have updated legacy code to function for modern online technology. The only ones capable of making a cost benefit analysis on these are Blizzard devs themselves. I don't know what the classics code looks like. I hate drawing this comparison every time, but it feels like Blizzard forced me to. The Nostalrius core was made by 10 people that were doing it as a hobby and it was more stable and better. I'm not saying it was perfect, obviously, but come on, man, like uh, 15 bucks a month, about 20 coders or whatever. I'm pretty sure you can pull this off and it wouldn't be a huge hit to your profitability to recode the, ser the, the server code. I don't know what the classic code looks like and I don't know how hard it would be to update said code to support more modern online technology. I do not know their hardware. I do not know their, their finances. I do not know anything of what they are doing behind closed curtains. Nobody really knows, but this is like kinda cap in the sense that if you apply common sense to a problem, you can understand more or less how the thing works. Okay, what's the difference between retail and classic server-wise? Retail is designed with their sharding and their instance content and all that and the world not being as important anymore. They designed retail server technology to work well when you have like lots of people in small instances like to run a bunch of millions of small instances at once like small dungeons small zones in sharding whatever what have you that's how the code of like modern wow is made vanilla is not at all vanilla is designed or should be designed to run a huge instance a huge tab you have calendar you have eastern kingdoms you have and Northrend or Outland and that's pretty much it, like you have a, like a, a few tabs that have a lot of people, the Nostarius code or any new code that would potentially be made to replace the code that we have now from the Legion client would have to work in that way. So it is inefficient because the, I'm not saying the Legion code is bad by the way, I'm saying that the Legion code is designed for a different need and that's why it works so damn poorly. That's why when you have a, a huge PvP battle, the server melts because it is not designed to handle that big of people in the same instance. The point is that this is just another issue in the long list of issues and the only commonality between those issues is the amount of support provided to Classic is just too little. Okay, okay, that was... Oh my lord, that was a long post. You could have done this entire post in three sentences, not made an ass of yourself, and not having to bring up the I am a coder, trust me bro thing at all. Even if you are, like, uh, come on man. <laughs> Fortunately for me, I just got in the queue right now, so I'm gonna play. Uh, let's hope that the rest of the world can be as fortunate as I am. Reading through this post took well over 20 minutes on stream. I cut out through most of it because it is mostly boring rants by a crazy man. We do things like this all the time on stream. We record most of our videos on stream. So if you wanna subscribe to see that, please hit the button. And also, can you do me a solid and like the video, leave a comment, 
Thank you.